Uh, the other day, I was surfing around, found this video on how to make a David Hockney style photograph with GIMP. Uh, as you can see, the tiles are kind of shifted a little bit. Uh, he made reference to this website here. And again, you can see how they're shifted. Well, I did it a little different because, frankly, I couldn't understand what he was saying. And I thought I'd share how I did this with you. Okay, let's get started. This is a picture I took a few years ago. We're going to want to enhance it just a hair. I duplicated the layer. Now I'm going to go to Hue and Saturation. Pump this up all, all the way. Click OK. Really brings the red out. We're going to go to Overlay. And you can play with the opacity. I like it the way it is. Now we're going to choose New from Visible. And let's duplicate it. And I'm going to rename this uh, Hockney. And let's duplicate that three or four times. Okay, there's four times. Now let's zoom out a hair. What we're going to want to do is shift, shift the picture around a little bit. So I'm going to take this one. I'm going to pick uh, Perspective Tool. And I'm just going to grab the corner, pull it up a bit. Come over here, transform. Okay, next layer down. I'm going to use the same tool. Pull it down a little bit. And transform. And I, I'd recommend playing with all of these, but and let, let's try a resize. Okay, I want it unlocked. I'm just gonna pull this down. Scale. Okay, now we're going to have to make the little tiles. We'll want to create a transparent layer. And we're going to want to duplicate that a few times. Okay, there's four times. Now you can come over here to the pencil tool. And it's hard to see, but little teeny square there. We're going to pump the size up. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm going to start out with white. I like working with different colors. It just helps me know what layer I'm working on. Okay, next layer. Let's change this color. Let's go with green. Yeah, you just want to make sure you're not touching different colors. You can also see the placement of the squares over here. Next one down. Okay, 
doesn't matter if you're going outside the box or not. And finally, yeah, let's go with a yellow. Oops, yellow. Okay, that fills in everything pretty well. Now we're going to move the picture layers up. So there's a picture in between each transparency. Okay, we'll get on the top layer. We want select by color. What we were wanting to do is remove everything that doesn't have a square over it. So the first layer, oh, <laughs> mistake. I forgot to switch layers, so let's click the next one down. <laughs> Much better. Now if you can see, now you can't see here, but the picture actually becomes squares. We're going to do the greens, click out of the box, click on the picture layer this time. Let's do the reds. Picture layer. And finally the yellows. Okay, now for this method, we really need each color white. So I'm going to just click on each color this time and uh, drag white onto the layer. Okay, I don't know why it's doing that. Hmm, it's being a pain today. <laughs> so I'm going to choose the paint bucket tool. Yeah, the paint bucket didn't quite work out. So it's just a little slower. Let's try resetting that. Select by color, drag the white over. Honestly, it worked before. I guess it's just my software. My recording software. And we got the yellows. Select by color paint bucket okay it's all selected we're going to remove the selections and we're going to do a little blurring on the white squares just brings them out a little better it's best to look at the drop shadow first. 
Okay, it just came up behind. Okay, remember the opacity is 80, blur radius 15. We really don't want to go over that. So cancel those out. Come into Gaussian Blur. And let's make it 10. Click OK. Click the next squares. Filter, repeat. Filter, repeat. And last one. Okay, now we're going to move the white squares behind the picture. And it's hard to see, but there's little white lines around each square. Just makes it show up a little better. Now on each picture layer, we'll go to Filters, Light and Shadow, Drop Shadow. I'm just going to use the settings there. Click OK. Just let it do its work. Okay, we're going to go to the next one. Filter, repeat. Let's zoom in so you can see it a little better. Filter, repeat. And the last one. Filter, repeat. Okay, let's kind of zoom in so you can see the see what's going on. You can see the drop shadow, the little white lines. We can always reduce the opacity of the white down if they're too prominent. Yeah, you're not going to see the lines very good in the black. That's <laughs> That's one problem with this picture. But something I did really makes the tiles pop out a little more. We're going to darken each layer a little bit. Top layer I'm leaving normal. Next level. I'm going to use the levels. Darken down the middle. Okay, go down to the next. Okay, go down to the next layer. You'll have to remember what your last setting was. Did 90, let's do 80. And OK. Go down to the next layer.
And for the bottom one, I used the visible layer. I probably should have duplicated that. Well, let's do it anyway. Just in case we mess up. Colors, levels. Okay, experiment with this a little bit. You'll find things you'll do a little better. You can see some of the shifting in the picture. The poles shifted a little bit. The antenna shifted a little bit. So, that's pretty much it. Um, have fun. Hope you enjoy.